What's up, Gemini? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon in this bitch. Join as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do. And if you need to get a personal read from me, make sure you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature, baby. So, spirit, you are welcome into this reading. We must say for the Geminians, darlings. Yes, we must, honey. Yes. So, we're going to be doing money and love for the weekly off top. What's going on with you? Okay. So, uh, let's see what's going on. Gemini babies. Here we go. All right. We have shine, darling. Shine. Let your inner self shine. Let your personality shine. Let your talent shine, baby, because you are a master. Now, you might be having a caged in heart, Gemini, but you are mastering your abilities of everything else outside of you, okay? So, some of you all could be mastering a new beginning. We're going to find out what that's, what that's all about, darlings, okay? And also, I feel that there is just something you need to just relax, take a deep breath. Breathe, darling. Breathe. Definitely could be moving on. Okay, it could be taking a long walk on the motherfucking beach, Gemini. But I'm seeing uh, for some of you guys in your manifestations, you could be mastering your craft by moving on from something that you felt wasn't blossoming. So it could be that. You know, love and money does kind of intertwine with each other. If you have some effects. Um, you know, in your love life and you're more than likely going to have effects in your personal life or in your financial life. Okay. Uh, but I feel like there's a lot of success and growth coming in for you guys since you have moved on or you are mastering caging your heart and darling. Okay. So, uh, let's see what's going on with you, Gemini, for the week. For the weekly, darlings. Off top, we have the Six of Pentacles. So uh, a lot of you all might be having some sort of um, new opportunities being given to you. Okay. There could definitely be a new situation that's coming in where someone is coming in to help. You have the Wheel of Fortune, also Six of Pentacles. So I feel with this Wheel of Fortune and also with the Six of Pentacles coming together that there's definitely going to be successful successful growth okay and financial matters but you just need to breathe all right uh, I also feel for a lot of you Gemini's you're wanting factual information you're being very very uh, honest okay with this king of swords here so I feel like this is you um, there also could be a situation where you're kind of just up at nighttime or there's a lot of things that gives you too many thoughts uh, in your head. But I feel like there's someone who's possibly blocked off a sudden change or someone who's uh, afraid or in a resistance of some sort of change. But there's major growth coming in here. So in your finances, um, I feel like you emotionally could be getting things together. You could be on some mothering energy with this Queen of Cups. Okay, you could be cleaning out your home, cleaning out your house, uh, cooking, cleaning, whatever the case may be. A lot of you guys are multitasking because that's what the Queen of Cups does, all right? She can do it all. She's the homemaker, okay? She does it all. So that's what that mastery is all about. Uh, I feel like you guys are in your a lot of your spiritual abilities as well with this high priestess here. So you could be in your finances or in your job or your work situation. There's a lot of spiritual gifts uh, that are coming to you. Ace of Pentacles as well. So new beginnings here. Okay. Money abundance. You're coming into an influential phase. Okay. For some of you guys, there could be a new source of income, a new offer coming your way, Gemini. 
also could be dealing uh, with somebody who's kind of coming in and out or you feel like your money flow could be coming in and out. Uh, I feel like you need to hold on to your coin. It definitely could be some sort of family situation or a third party of some heartbreak or some news um, that you might be receiving that you've kind of been resistant to uh, that sudden change. But I feel like it's definitely coming. Um, for some of you guys, there definitely could be some sort of communication in your financial matters. Also, it could be an ending and you're getting ready to start into some sort of new uh, situation here, okay? Um, with the hangman energy, there could be somebody who's kind of hanging on to certain thoughts, certain um, things in the background that kind of hold you back or tie you behind, okay? But I'm seeing um, for some of you, Gemini, in your financial matters, there's definitely going to be a lot of choices and decisions due to communication <clears throat> coming in here. So prepare yourself to communicate. Uh oh, we went out. Prepare yourself to talk, speak. Okay. <clears throat> I feel, uh, excuse me, um, there is a situation with a third party possibly uh, that wants a restart. So be aware of that. But a lot of third parties could be in your financial success or your financial endeavors. All right. Um, but I feel there's going to be a change of pace, some sort of handout or someone is going to come help you. So let's see what's going on in your love department. OK, for the week, for the 7th through the 14th for uh, Gemini. Let's see what's going on. Romance angels off top. We have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So stay optimistic, okay? Um, and also for some of you Geminis, there could be somebody who was involved in a marriage or someone was involved. You're getting ready to release your ex, but I see that your finances and your career are definitely very prominent, okay? Um, so letting go. Because you have a lot of growth here um, that's coming up. Could be needing to release your ex, but I feel with this shine, this blossom, you guys are shining in your career and your finances. Those things will be advancing for you for the week, okay? So, off top, we have the Ace of Cups, Six of Wands, all right? That's indicating to me that there could be someone who's extremely jealous of your love or there is someone who, uh, you know, wants to see the success. You're more concerned with your financial success. OK, so between you and your partner, um, I'm seeing here someone needs is letting go. This is, this fell right on top of the release your ex. OK, um, someone could have had a lot of damage or there could have been a lot of damage that was done that was kind of, uh, you know, unrepairable. This person could have been insoluble as well. OK, or it just was somebody was not satisfied because they felt like there was a lot of hurt going on. OK, and I feel like things are definitely justified with that justice energy here. Gemini definitely could be dealing with another Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, another air sign, possibly justice energy, also page of swords. Uh, and I feel like there was some sort of third party situation uh, between you and your partner that kind of had you guys split down the middle with making a final decision for some of you guys. But definitely spying. Okay? It could be whether it be tarot, whether it be messages, Facebook, okay, spyware, driving by the house, whatever the case may be. Someone is literally spying on you. Okay, Your partner could be spying on you or it could go vice versa. Uh, but I feel like they feel something had to be split down the middle. Someone someone had to make a fair decision. Okay. I feel um, in your between you and your partner, somebody was juggling multiple things. Um, it could be that for the week, somebody is, uh, you know, kind of withdrawing themselves from making an offer or making a final decision towards an offer, Gemini. So I feel um, how they view you as someone who's not really ready for a commitment. It could be that you're having to drop down a lot of burdens, a lot of traumas, a lot of releases uh, is what I'm seeing here. Also, a lot just burdens, okay, burdenships 
is what I'm seeing is how they view you. Um, they also could be viewing you as somebody uh, who's been carrying all of the weight. You could be very tricky with your time, okay, your work, your work ethic. Uh, they could be feeling like you're kind of being dishonest is how they view you. Uh, but making a final decision because you are manifesting, but I feel like your finances are more uh, of importance than anything at this point in time with the emperor energy. So uh, that's definitely how they're viewing you. Um, but I feel what to expect is someone is making a final decision. Could have been because there was being some like player like type of energy or somebody was, uh, you know, trying to be a stunt daddy and shit with this king of wands. Um, now, I do feel Gemini, um, what to expect is a major balance, but to take a break from the things that don't serve you that you felt like you could have been foolish towards, or also uh, for some of you guys with the Page of Pentacles, someone um, was going back and forth between their truth and what lessons that they possibly learned. So this definitely could be your partner, but I feel what to expect is a new beginning, Someone is getting ready to come into a windfall of money with this uh, empress. This is abundance, okay? So your finances, like I said, are taking over um, your love life. It's kind of like, you know, shoving itself and like, bitch, you're going to take this shit. <laughs> so I feel for the week, um, what to expect is your finances and your career coming in, okay? Abundance coming in, new beginnings. You could be having new clients, taking on new people, uh, you know, but I really feel there's a new beginning coming in for sure. Okay. Two of cups as well, strength energy. So I feel like there's some truth that you know about a soulmate overall. Uh, you know where it's going to go, where it stands as of right now. Um, but I feel, I feel that someone definitely could have been lying or being deceptive about their actions with the Knight of Wands or for the week, it's like their actions don't add up to the plans, okay? Uh, but I do feel there's someone who's kind of not really satisfied, like I said before, with someone not being very honest, but you have a Virgo Taurus Capricorn coming through, okay? Also, Leo Sagittarius Aries is up in the mix. So someone could be coming in pretty slow, but this looks like to me, this is you. You're trying to like put up a defense away from all of these people that cause struggles and mind games and challenges and shit, right? Uh, star energy here, you could be dealing with an Aquarian, but I feel since we're under the Aquarian moon that there is some sort of partnership that's coming together with the three of pentacles, or you could be combining some things with uh, multiple people here, or also just, you know, contracts and commitments, Gemini. Um, I feel like you're breaking into your independence uh, and getting a peace of mind, with this Nine of Pentacles, okay, yeah, you're changing your focus um, with this Nine of Pentacles here, okay? Uh, and it looks like, to me, you're getting ready. You might be feeling alone, but there's a new move that's coming your direction. You're getting ready to move into a new uh, leap, okay? Especially with all of this new beginnings that's coming towards you, for sure, Gemini. All right, guys, I love you. I'm going to get on out of here. If you need to get a personal read from me, make sure you hit that description box down below and check out my motherfucking website, morellsmoon.com. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.